Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Lucky Kazi. I am I am your presenter for for natural sciences. Um, please follow me on my Twitter handle. It's Lucky Kazi. It's Lucky Kazi. And also, I am looking forward to have a a progressive engagement or class with you today as we start our lesson. OK, on the previous lesson, we learned about batteries and cells. And also, we learned about the mains of electricity, meaning that the mains of electricity it's like a chain where electricity is formed until the end of the chain will be your which will be your home your school and shops i hope you guys do remember what the topic was about yesterday as we unfold the previous lesson As I said earlier on, that we learned about batteries and cells and the mains of electricity. And lastly, the most important item, it was safety with electricity. What to do when someone is in danger or what to do or how can you prevent someone from being shocked by electricity? I hope you still remember that and let's move on. OK, then also one of you guys, I think it was um, Linda, but one of the learners did ask me. And so say, what is the positive and negative sign of the battery? And so this is the positive sign of the battery. As you can see, the positive sign of the battery shows a plus sign. As you can see, the two batteries on the sides, on the left and right hand side. On top, they show a plus and a plus as well. Then let's look at the bottom of the batteries. The bottom of the battery shows a negative or a minus. We are focusing on the two batteries on the sides, not the middle one, but the two batteries on the side. The negative sign it shows it shows a minus. Then a plus also a plus sign in a battery shows an output okay of energy. Then the negative side or the minus side of the battery shows an input. Thank you so much. Okay, then think about Please type in the Q&A. Think about three items that use battery in your household. Remember to type in the Q&A as I will be reviewing your, your comments or answers. OK, the common battery cell is a device that changes chemical energy to electrical energy. Batteries are widely used in toys, um, in cell phones, the laptop, the car, your remote control. In our daily basis, we engage with items that use batteries. So, guys, I am looking forward to your responses. Okay? Because I did ask you to give me at least three items that use batteries in your own household. So I'm looking forward to check your responses later on within 30, 30 seconds, OK? As well, we are still on the content or topic that we did yesterday. This is a second, OK? Let's start with the picture 
on top of your screen on the left hand side. I will firstly start with the battery. As you can see, it's written battery in black. There's a plus sign, there's a minus sign, which is a negative, and on top it's a positive. Then, whenever you are requested to draw a second, please make sure that you do not forget to write a plus sign or, or a positive sign. And also on the bottom, do not forget to write a minus sign of which is a negative sign. Then when you draw your own structure of a second, it's always important not to draw a battery, but to show the sign, this long sign here. As you can see, there's a long sign which is closer to the plus sign. This long sign signifies or shows a plus sign of a battery. Then, this short line, there's a difference between this long line here and this um, short line here. This short line here, or this small line, it signifies or it shows a negative sign of a battery or a minus sign of a battery. Therefore, this area here, please do remember we are focusing on the picture on the top of your screen. This area here, it shows you the battery. This line, this long line shows you a plus sign or a positive sign of the battery. Then this short line shows you a negative sign of a battery. Let's go on top where it's written a switch. What will be a switch? Can you guys give me a description or an explanation of a switch in a second? The importance of a switch in a second. Okay. As I go through your responses, as I go through your responses, okay. Simangaliso said earlier on a remote and, and phones. Remote, uh, Naledi says remote, toys, uh, and phones. Thank you so much, um, Naledi. Okay, Kamukheti uh, said, yes, I do remember. I hope you remember Kamukheti. Praise the remote toy laptop. Thank you so much, Buse. Remote phone and cars. Thank you so much, Buse. Um, I hope I am pronouncing your name correctly. G. Gabriel or Gabriel. Okay, but I, sorry if I pronounced your your name incorrectly, please forgive me. He said or she said control and flashing light and headphones and Audrey laptop, Sakura, a phone, laptop and a torch, Mangaliso, SMG, computers, corner, laptops, phone and a remote, Neo H, dinosaur toy, wow Neo. <laughs> remote okay as i go back to the slide again then what is the significance of the switch therefore whenever you switch on your second okay the light bulb or a globe it will switch on okay it wouldn't cut any electricity but in this case yeah as we can see on top we are still focusing on the picture on um, on top of our screens. You can see there's a break between a wire and a switch, meaning that our switch is off. Therefore, there's a break. 
there won't be any circulation of electricity or energy. Therefore, there's a break. Then, as soon as you switch in, sorry, as soon as you switch on your, your circuit, this line here, it will join with this line here, meaning that all wires have been connected. Then the light bulb or a globe, it will be switched on. It's always important to make sure that there's no cut or there's no break in your in your second. Okay. Then there's a light bulb. This is how you can draw a light bulb. If you can't draw a light bulb like this on the picture on the bottom of your screen, this is how you can draw your own light bulb, and this is how you can draw your wires of which this picture on the top of you. On, on top of your screen, it resembles or it shows a circuit. Then, this will be a circuit which is drawn by someone who is good in drawing, but not all of us are good in drawing, including myself. I'm so bad in drawing. But then, this is a battery. As you can see, it shows a plus sign and a negative sign, which is a minus and a plus. Then here's a switch, okay? A switch goes on and off. Also, there's a light bulb here. Yeah. Whenever, um, whenever the switch is on, the light bulb will also go on. Whenever the switch is off, the light bulb will also go off. Okay, it's, it's down and up. Thank you so much. Okay, then we are starting our lesson for today. Remember, our lesson for today is energy and movement. At the end of the lesson, I want you guys to know how energy can be changed into movement and shapes. Sorry, into movement. And also, I want you guys to know that how can energy make things move using stored energy? Okay, let's look at the picture of a man, okay, on a pogo stick. As you can see, a pogo stick has a has a spring on the bottom. Okay, as soon as this man jumps up and down, when the man jumps down, okay, therefore the spring on the pogo on the pogo stick will do what it will compress. As soon as you force it down, it will compress. As soon as you lift your weight up, then the spring it will do what it will react okay a pogo stick it's a stick that is used for for adventure if you are if you're someone who likes adventure then you can also try a pogo stick energy and movement when we stretch an elastic band we store energy in it Imagine yourself pulling an elastic band, of which you call it a rubber band. Whenever you pull an elastic band, it will do what? It will, it will contract or, or it will expand. Then as soon as you release the elastic band, it will produce a potential energy which is called movement. You pull it towards any direction that you want, and then if you release it. As soon as you release that elastic band or a rubber band, it will produce a potential energy which is called movement. And so let's look at, um, now we are focusing on these um, white uh, weights, colored in white. Have you ever stretched a bow and arrow? You know a bow and arrow used to be even currently, some of 
some people used a bow and arrow to hunt for animals. Some people use a bow and arrow to play some of the games in the household. When you pull it apart, then listen, what happens when you pull a bow and arrow towards any direction that you desire? When you pull it and release the arrow, what will happen? That's your question. Therefore, I will look into our Q&A and I hope you can give me some answers before I show you a short video of a bow and arrow. Let's look at our responses. Okay, a button, Bushe. Something that turns things on and off. Thank you so much, Bushe. Audrey, and pull something on, on or off. Okay. Yeah, Mukherjee. Okay, there you go, sir. <laughs> that, um, okay, those are my examples according to OG. Okay, let's look for. Okay, Lutando is the one who asked me about a plus and a negative sign, which is a positive and a negative sign, plus and minus. Thank you so much, Lutando. I hope I have answered you, your question. Okay, um, let's see. We are learning about electricity. Yes, today. The spring in the energy, it shoots the arrow. Thank you so much, Audrey. As soon as you release the arrow, on your bow and arrow to go towards a direction that you desire. And to produce movement, thank you so much, Connor. That's a brilliant answer. It will produce movement. Okay, here's a video, as you can see. You see? Someone is pulling a bow and arrow, then when you release it, it goes towards your desired direction. As I said in your own, whenever you pull an elastic band, whenever you pull it, or whenever you stretch it, it will produce a potential energy which is called movement. Stored energy as we continue. As we continue, okay? Springs can, springs can also be compressed or stretched to store energy. So imagine yourself pulling a string, pulling a spring. What will happen to that spring? It will release energy as soon as you leave the spring. It will do what? It will give you a potential energy, which is called movement. Okay. Here's here's a boy. Is riding a pogo stick. Okay. This boy, as I said earlier on, whenever you compress a pogo stick, it will produce a potential energy which is the boy will jump. A pogo stick is one of the interesting items that someone can use for his or her own adventure during these holidays. It's not holiday, sorry, during this lockdown. Pardon me. Okay. A slick spring is a metal coil spring. When you stretch a, a slick spring, it stores energy. When the spring is released, the stored energy is changed into 
movement energy as it springs back into its shape. Springs can also be compressed to do work. To compress something means that you squash it. To, to squash some, something means you, you press it with force. You press it with force, okay? I hope all of you guys understand. As you can see, here's a slicky spring. When you pull the slicky spring, or whenever you stretch the slicky spring, okay, it will give you an energy. Therefore, as soon as you compress the slicky spring, it will give you a potential energy, which is called movement. Thank you so much, guys. Also, we can make things move using stretch or twisted elastic and compressed strings. Okay. As we have seen earlier on, on our bow and arrow. Okay. The elastic or the string of a bow and arrow, it was stretched and it was released as well. Therefore, there was a potential movement. When you release the elastic or spring, again, we get the movement which is called energy. Let's go through our Q&A. Lindy, the arrow will release in the direction your ball is, okay? Lindy, um, the sand used it to kill animals. Thank you so much, Lindy. Way. Okay, sorry, Lutando, for answering your questions. <laughs> okay, Anonymous, remote Wi Fi and router. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Remote and Wi Fi used batteries. Thank you so much. Or three, it releases energy. Therefore, that energy that it releases, we call it potential movement. Thank you so much, guys. As you can see here, there's this is a cartoon of of um, I don't know what you call it in your own language. Um, but we call it because I am Kosa, or I can also speak Zulu and Tswana. We call it KT. I don't know what is called in English, but this elastic band, whenever you pull it and when, whenever you release it, it will produce a potential energy which is called movement. This is a weapon. That that some of the people use to hunt. Okay, now it's your turn. May you type in your Q and A. Use your own knowledge of springs to explain how pogo stick works. Your answer must include words such as compress stored energy and movement okay let's look at the boy playing um, with a pogo stick as as i have said or mentioned earlier on that a pogo stick on the bottom it has a spring and you just have to hop or jump on top of a pogo spring then it will produce potential energy then it will move from one place to the other case depending on your direction that you desire to go to okay then the first question is use your own knowledge of springs to explain how a power stick works your answer must include weights compress stored energy and movement okay i will give you time guys for you to to answer okay as we go through our q a remember to always use potential energy audrey 
it will be hit. Okay, someone when someone then they will be dead. Okay, dead meat. Okay, but drink. The arrow will go into the direction that you point. Thank you so much, Audrey and Lady Anonymous. They operate as a mechanism for the device. Okay, sure. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Audrey, it will shoot the man far away. Mm, I, I'm afraid. Yeah, Audrey, it's a KD. Thank you so much, Audrey. <laughs> I also call it a KD. I don't know what is called. Maybe in Africans or maybe a KD is um is coined in, 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 in Africans, but in English, I'm not sure what it's called. And so, Clo, it is if you are a, okay, a balloon, say, okay. Amanda Hicks, let's take look down in schools. Okay, weight is pressed down the spring. Okay, therefore, Nell says that whenever you you are playing with a pogo stick, as soon as you are on top of a pogo, a pogo stick, you have to compress your weight down, then the pogo stick will produce a potential energy, which is movement. Therefore, you will jump from one place to the other. When the spring or three, when the spring, uh, when the spring, it produces energy and when the stored energy compressed. Okay, thank you so much, Audrey. Lutando, the compressed spring release provides release provides movement. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Lutando. Audrey, you will jump higher. Definitely, you will jump higher. It will shoot a man away in space, and he will be he will be zing and. Oh my goodness. Okay, Amanda. <laughs> a pogo stick compresses uh, the pogo stick to move from one place to another. Definitely, whenever you compress a pogo stick or whenever you hop or, or, or jump on top of a pogo stick, it will also react, which will release potential energy. Thank you so much, guys, for your responses. Okay, Connor. When you compress a spring, it will turn the stored energy into movement. Thank you so much, Connor. Now, lady, as you jump on the spring at the bottom, starts to create a reaction which makes it to jump. Definitely, that will be the reaction from a spring. Okay, then let's let's try and answer question two. Name two toys that have stored potential energy two toys that two toys that have stored potential energy two toys that have stored potential energy my answer it will be a yo-yo we all know that we use a yo-yo to distress you use a yo-yo to play therefore whenever you play with a yo-yo it stores energy and it also releases potential energy. It's a yo-yo, but we are still on question two. Name two toys that have stored potential energy. As I go through to our q and A, I am also giving you, I am giving you 30 seconds, please, as we engage, okay. It, it provides movement. Thank you so much, Uratile, and hello. Anonymous by challenging it to go. Once the power stick is compressed, it will store energy and it will jump high. Okay, thank you so much, Bushe. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Otri. Roller plates or roller skates. Good. Good, Audrey. Then low, a rope, a yo-yo, definitely. Before you jump, before you jump, it, it compresses the energy and you jump from one place to another. Thank you so much, Puti. Simangali, so SMG, okay. Uh, Amanda, guns and drones, okay. 
Thank you so much, Amanda. Lindy Way, when you compress a string on a pogo stick, the spring has stored energy. When you let go of the spring, it gives you potential energy. Thank you so much, Lindy Way. Neo, a play card, definitely a play card. Some of the play cards do have stored energy. Okay, a car and yo-yo. Um, fight spinners, okay, definitely, that's true. Okay, Luta Lopogos, okay, it is called a sling shot. I wonder what's a sling shot. I'll do my own uh, research. Thank you so much, Indiwe. Um, praise a yo-yo and a ball, a ball, a, a bouncing ball, definitely. A trampoline, thank you so much. Uh, you no, know, you guys are amazing, definitely. It clearly shows that you know what you're talking about. I am so happy. Then let's look at our last, 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 last question for this session. In your own weight, describe how a string, sorry, a spring works. In your own weight, describe how a spring works. Describe how a spring works. I am giving you 30 seconds. Describe how a spring works. Okay, a bicycle or a tile, a trampoline. We saw that earlier, a trampoline. Um, let's look for. Okay, Audrey. If you push a string down, it stores energy. When you let go, it compresses energy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Audrey. Let's get some more responses, at least two responses, before we close our or we end our session. Two responses, then we will be wrapping up. Okay, therefore, A spring, whenever you pull or stretch a spring, okay, whenever you release it, it will squeeze or it will, or it will release potential energy. You pull a spring or you pull an elastic band or you pull a rubber band, okay, whenever you pull those items, whenever you release them, they will create movement or they will release stored energy which is called potential movement okay as we go through our q and a okay put it, a potential energy is whenever you pull a a, a, a um an elastic or a rubber band, or um, what is called in most, especially most of us who are from the townships, we call it a, what's this, a racket, okay? Whenever you pull an elastic band, when you pull it and whenever you release it, okay, it will go towards a particular direction, and that direction it's called potential movement okay now it is a device which makes a attack like jump okay or actually a spring goes up and down a spring works like a okay a bouncing ball okay say i love a bouncing ball okay sure thank you so much it jumps up and down Lutando. Super duper, super, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our our slides. Okay, a takeaway message for today's lesson. A stored energy can change into movement and energy. For those ones, therefore, who did not understand what is stored energy, I will try my best to do my own research and download a short video that will show you 
what is stored energy and what is potential movement. I'll download a video for you tomorrow as we recap our lesson. When we begin the lesson, I will show you a video. Energy can be stored in, in a stretched or twisted elastic band, okay? And then also the last one for our takeaway message. Energy can be stored in compressed or stretched springs, okay? Here are some of the helpful uh, links. I hope you go through these links and you, you expand your knowledge base on this topic. Then an invitation from, for tomorrow, we are going to discuss wheels and axles. And remember, for this term, there's an investigation that you have to do out of 15 marks. You have to do or create your own wells and excels as a group. But since it's locked down, you, you, you will have to do it alone or with someone in your household under the supervision of your guardians or your parents. Okay. Do remember to follow us on social media at African Team Geeks, at DBE underscore SA, hashtag Sasso Foundation. Also follow us at Sasso SA, hashtag STEM Champions, and also hashtag Lockdown East Coast. You guys were amazing today, and I really enjoy my classes with you. And so have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you tomorrow again, same time. Goodbye.